At volcanoes around the planet, it is generally accepted that if a volcano erupts, the odds of any other separate nearby volcanoes erupting does not increase or decrease. Yet, exceptions to this rule do exist. For example, when Nova Rupta in Alaska produced the largest explosive eruption of the 20th century, ejecting 31 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock, it also simultaneously triggered a smaller scale eruption at the Katmai volcano six and a half miles to the east, due in part to the fact that both volcanoes at some level shared the same magma chamber. However, if we look beyond one volcano immediately triggering another one to erupt and instead expand our horizons to a short geologic time period but lengthy one in terms of a human's lifespan, say 100 years, things get a bit weird in certain locations. Take for example the western Colorado Plateau of the United States. Here is a broad and uplifted region that along its edge and at weak points are four volcanoes which have erupted at some point since the end of the last ice age. Each of these volcanoes generally produces an eruption quite infrequently at about once every 4,700 to 12,000 years. Yet, between 1050 and 1100, three of these volcanoes erupted in geologically speaking rapid succession. And, if we expand the end date from 1100 to 1140, we enter the edge of the margin of error for the date of an eruption from a fourth volcano. The odds of this occurring due to random chance are less than 1 in 100,000. In a prior video of mine, I had postulated that some factor, possibly the movement of a very large fault line near the Grand Canyon, might have somehow triggered all of this activity. Yet, I now think that my previous hypothesis was incorrect as new evidence has been presented. So, if not a fault, what triggered all of these volcanoes to erupt in somewhat rapid succession? Before I answer this question, I want to note that what I am about to say falls into the realm of hypothetical as it involves a good amount of interpretation, opinion, and very recent scientific discoveries. The answer is an unusual type of crust and mantle movement referred to as a lithospheric drip. Although what causes this to begin is unclear, sometimes a thick piece of lithospheric crust may start to sink into the lower mantle. This occurs in a process similar to sap dripping off of a tree branch. It forms a distinct drop over time, which then breaks off while also creating empty space. Material from the lower mantle then rushes upwards to fill the empty space, creating a large amount of uplift which in this case resulted in the Colorado Plateau via repeated occurrences of this process. Here is where my hypothesis comes into all of this. I believe that somehow, at intervals, lithospheric drips trigger mantle upwelling or partial melting of the lithospheric drip itself, resulting in a series of volcanic eruptions over a broad area. With this being said, the Colorado Plateau is not the only region of the world with both Holocene volcanism and lithospheric drip. Another location with lithospheric drip-derived uplift is central Turkey. Here, three closely spaced volcanoes also seem to show a pattern of erupting at approximately the same time. I know that there is a 300 and 600 year gap between dates at one of these volcanoes, but its dates are uncalibrated and thus have a large margin of error which could well be a good match. As a final note, I know it is weird to make a hypothesis based upon an unproven hypothesis, but there is a similar pattern occurring in eastern Turkey. I find it suspicious that the Ararat and Tindaruk volcanoes, which altogether have few eruptions during the last 10,000 years, had two instances where they both erupted within a short time of one another. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron, Mark, for supporting this channel.